Did your ball land in my backyard again? A model airplane, this time. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Whoa! This is amazing! What are those? Dr. Seuss's The Lorax took the top spot at the box office for two weeks in a row, adding $39 million to its take, bringing its total so far to $122 million since its release. Disney sci-fi spectacle John Carter disappointed and took in only $30.6 million, which will make it hard-pressed for Disney to recoup the $250 million it spent on making the film. Actor Taylor Kitsch plays John Carter, and he was asked what it was like portraying such a time-honored character that has existed for a hundred years. Um, no pressure. None whatsoever. I don't know. I think it's, it's amazing. I love that Edgar Rice Burroughs was so ahead of his time and that, you know, so much of his writing is still applicable to today. Um, I think no one's going to put more pressure on it than myself to do it justice. And I think, uh, you know, that's the primary one, but... Secondly, just to breathe life into Andrew Stanton's, you know, childhood dream. You know, that's a big one for me, and, and that was an honor. Project X, the high school party that you have only dreamed about, took in $11.5 in its third week of release. Silent House, starring that other Olsen sister, took in a modest $7 million, reportedly meeting studio estimates for its first week. Act of Valor storing real-life Navy SEALs also took in $7 million, bringing its box office gross total to $56 million. The move to extract. Got it. 